Oh, they tell me the real estate market in some sectors is absolutely red hot. Things uh, have turned around in some areas, but that's raising some concerns. Other areas, not so much. Well, let's ask Big Daddy this morning on this Monday, our real estate expert Brian Garrity from the Garrity Group. Good to see you. Good to see you as always. Uh, real estate bubble? Are we t seriously talking that again? Uh, I mean, can we not just have a kind of a normal was gonna, real estate market? I mean, that's funny. I was gonna <laughs> no, I was gonna ask you the same thing. Like after three years of being on here, between toxic assets to you know this falling out to this falling in, it's like. Where's that good old Ma and Pa fashion real estate? Right. I mean, do we always have to be in I, crisis I, mode it, now? Yeah, it's, it's, it has. It's the pendulum has swung to the other side. So we're not dealing with as many toxic assets. Again, let me preface, there are still about 25% of the people that are in trouble. Get help. We'll talk about it later because we've talked about it so much. Right. I, folks um, know that if they're in trouble, they uh, should come call. see you. Yeah. Call I mean, and you'll, the, you'll and help them out. Totally help them out. Um, we have a listing program that we're designing that's really cool for people that come and list with us um, and I'm putting all the particulars together but it's it, this is how good the market is I will basically guarantee them that if I can't sell their house within 30 days we'll take 1% off the commission we're already going to give them a break on commission coming in the front door so there could be some substantial savings I'm going to put that together and we'll present it um, next week. But that's if you want to call Brian now, I'll, I'll bet you he'd, well, I do <laughs> he'd for give you, you now. a little jump on the yeah. plan. Are you kidding? <laughs> Come on. We can create together. I'm all about group effort. I know you but, are. But what's, what's happening now is we're having this perception of a bubble again because prices are now accelerating and economists, depending on who you're talking to, are going to say we're going to hit a bubble, it's going to burst, people are overpaying for properties, etc. Now, let's compare 06, 07 to 2013. You cannot compare. 06, 07, the money was flowing. It was like, people call it free money. There's right. nothing free about it. I mean, you were attached to that money and you either paid it back or had consequences. Um, but the way that the housing market is now, our inventory is low. For example, in San Diego, 91 out of 100 metro cities have all seen a surge in value prompted by low interest rates, prompted by inventory being low, but it's not a level where there's going to be a bubble. There isn't. And it's, the, it's, and it's more of a rebound. The, the rebound effect is not because everybody can get a loan. That, that's, that's, that's what caused this other thing to burst, exactly. right? Oh, because exactly. People that should not have been allowed to take out those huge loans were we're getting them. We're getting those loans, and then they couldn't pay them back. And right. so that's that's really what caused that crisis. That's not the situation now. No. It's, is it's hard to get a loan right it's now? It's very hard to get so a loan. So that's a totally different situation. However, we've got the flip side of the coin. All of a sudden, cash has flooded the market. And you've got people that are hedge fund buyers, which are the same people that got us in the last conundrum with everything happening in 06, 07. These Wall Street people, I had an agent that represented a uh, Wall Street group that wants to buy 4,000 properties in San Diego. 4,000 properties in San Diego, that's not even what we have available. We're under that m amount. So we're low on inventory in our, in our market. Um, but what's happening is people are overreacting. People are starting to you know, hit the panic button. People in the 200, 300, $400,000 levels of trying to buy a place. Listen, they have 15 offers coming in on a property. I know. I list plenty of them. I see it happen. And then you've got cash buyers and you have finance buyers. Well, finance buyers are very... And I feel bad because I want to give the finance buyer a chance because I know they're getting slaughtered on every other right. deal they're putting an offer in. But it's because you don't know what the banks are going to do. You don't know. So if somebody's got cash, the deal's clean, it's, you're you done. Know, it's going to close. Right. And for your seller, you've got to give them the highest level of protection. So it is very frustrating right now. Is there a bubble per se? I don't think so. I think it's a rebound. Okay. Um, it's, it's one of those things where, you know, we just got to look and hang in there. We're low on inventory in San Diego. So before when we were saying, if you're sitting on the couch, get off and move, 
you may have waited, but it doesn't mean you can't get a place, but it does mean you're going to have to be patient. And if you, if you want to sell, then certainly this and is right the time now, to list with Brian. List, list. I'm serious. If you, right now, if you've got equity in your property and we've got this surge of people out there wanting to buy radio shows on Wednesday, <laughs> um, we'll be talking about this on Wednesday, actually, so it okay. goes together. Very but, good. like, list. Because you'll be surprised at what people are willing to pay for your house right now. You All can right. get, get away with doing a lot less than you normally would have. Sorry. Get in touch with Brian and also check out the uh, radio program on Wednesdays. ESPN 1700. 1700. 1 o'clock? 1 o'clock. All right. Very good. Thank Brian Garrity. Thank you, sir. The Garrity Group. Get in touch with him sooner rather than later. Okay.